Believe it or not, Nibiru is in the Bible. Incredible but true. Four times larger than Jupiter, it dwarfs Jupiter and the Earth, as you see in this illustration. It has already been sighted by astronomers in the southern hemisphere, as you can see in this picture. Citing deviations in the movement of Pluto, NASA has been tracking it for over 50 years. Russia has been preparing by completing the construction of 5,000 underground shelters in Moscow in 2012. FEMA has prepared by purchasing millions of plastic containers for coffins. I know you've heard of them. You're probably familiar with this. And here's the images. What are they preparing for? The United States has embarked on a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week effort to build massive underground shelters for over 30 years. These are reserved for government officials and high-ranking military personnel. Many people believe that the Denver Airport, as you see in this marker, says New World Airport is one of those places. Deviations of the movement of the sun proves the existence of an object of significant gravitational pull coming into our solar system. Here is the orbit. It will, it will enter into our solar system and pass between the Earth and the Sun, <clears throat> blocking out the light of the Sun for about three days. And the Bible says, And I beheld when he opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the Sun became black as sackcloth as hair, and the Moon became as blood. The earthquake will be caused by the increased gravitational forces caused by the alignment of the Sun, Nibiru and the Earth. <clears throat> the darkness caused by Nibiru's extreme size and moon appearing red is caused by a partial blockage of light typically seen in lunar eclipses as you see in this illustration with the with the Earth blocking out the light to the moon. And here you can see uh, the moon going through its lunar eclipse uh, the block light turning it red. What's going to happen is the Earth is going to tilt on its axis very quickly causing tremendous stress on the Earth's crust. This will cause a sudden movement in the Earth's axis, resulting in dramatic changes in the wind patterns, tremendous earthquakes, movements in the Earth's crust, and tsunamis on every coast. Millions, possibly billions, will die. And the heavens depart as a scroll when it was rolled together, and every mountain and island was moved out of their places. Can you imagine it? And the kings of the Earth, and the great men, and rich men, and the chief captains, and mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens in the rocks of the mountains. The dens and the rocks and the mountains. Sounds like shelters to me. And the kings of the earth and the great men, the rich men, the chief captains, and the mighty men. Who are these people? Well, they're government officials and high-ranking military personnel. Hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks and the mountains. Sounds like shelters. And here you have it. Reserved for government officials and high-ranking military personnel. You may ask yourself, what can I do? How can I protect myself? Well, you have to call out to the one that's in control of all of this. The only one that can protect you during the troubled times ahead. And that is Jesus. I know that I've sinned. Please forgive me and come into my heart. He says, come unto me, all ye labor and heavy rest, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he says, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world.